What's up, y'all? It's Wednesday, and I'm in my car, and I'm in uniform, as y'all can tell. I'm never in uniform, like, lately, but um, I'm, like, in a course, so obviously I had to wear a uniform today, and um, I am the lowest-ranking person in my course. Like, like, I'm a specialist, and everyone else is a staff sergeant or an officer, so it's kind of weird, but kind of not I mean key to the military if you're in a situation like that is just be confident and I mean people kind of gave me a look when I walked in like why are you here but I mean I feel like no one would have known the difference if they didn't see the ring on my chest they wouldn't really know but um it was so awkward the freaking the like lady teaching the class like kind of over the class it she asked us all to introduce ourselves and then she was kind of like, why are you here? And everyone had these stories of like why they were there or who they were taking over for in this like position and all this stuff. And I was just kind of like confused what to say because I was just enrolled in this course by my supervisor and I kind of just made something up. I mean, I didn't make it up. It is like where I work. I'm gonna go back into my course and I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, y'all, so I'm done with my class for the day. It's same position in the car, but a little bit later on. I'm probably about to go to the gym and God knows what else. But I wanted to hop on here because I wanted to share something with y'all that I've been thinking about all day long. And it's something I feel like I should share because I feel like it's something that's like mentally helping me. So maybe it's going to help someone else. But... I've just been thinking about like, you know, especially being in the military or whatever job you have, you obviously at some point in time you want to work your way up or get whatever achievement you want to achieve or whatever promotion. You want to get to those different positions, but you know, you have to have your qualifications. You have to reach a certain amount of time. You have to do all these things to get to said point. Along the way, while you're getting those qualifications, getting everything that you need to get to said point in that promotion or achievement a lot of people think like okay someday I'm gonna sit at that table someday I'm gonna be there which is true but what if it was more so like I'm reserving my seat at the table like I'm reserving my seat they're gonna be expecting me and when I get there I'm gonna be ready because along the way I was mentally thinking about that spot. I was mentally thinking about my seat, making connections, doing all these things, so that when I got there, I was like fully prepared. Like, I don't know, maybe that'll help somebody. Maybe it's just cheesy, corny, and cliche. I'm not really sure, but I was thinking about it today and it kind of mentally helps me. I'm on the road to like get promoted or whatever. And like thinking about it like that makes it more obtainable to me because it's not like oh well someday I'll get there and I'm not yet there I don't have all these things yet it's more so like I'm gonna be there so why not go ahead reserve my table let them know I'm coming and I'm going to work on everything that I need so when I get there like I'm set and there's there's no question about it there's no confusion there's no ifs there's no ands there's no buts it's just i'm here baby so i don't know that's probably stupid and cliche but maybe it'll help somebody i don't know So you know how you try a drink or you get like a juice type drink and it freaking tastes artificial It does not taste good. It's not something that you want after like your first sip. You're like, Ugh, it's not that good It just tastes super sugary. Well, if you have an HEB like pretty much if you live on the West Coast or Southwest go to HEB and you're gonna go 
to like the typical juice section and you're gonna buy this limeade okay and listen y'all it is so good especially me like i'm a big time soda drinker i love like caffeinated carbonated like i pretty much love a bunch of different sodas and after drinking it i kind of don't even crave soda anymore i crave that it's very refreshing and it doesn't taste fake so y'all go around and get this this little juice because it's amazing and i'm obsessed with it so y'all should go get it okay i need to make dinner and i'm looking at my freezer right now but um i think i'm just gonna make a veggie burger i have these um veggie burgers and i have one in here so I think I'm gonna have a veggie burger and then I'm just gonna make some fries. Yeah. Okay, y'all, day two of my little class that I'm in is, like, midway through. I'm on lunch. They freaking sent us to lunch at, like, 1030, which is, like, cool and annoying at the same time. But, like, I don't have to be back till 12, so, like, it's kind of lit. But, um, yeah, so class was, like, super boring this morning. And then the drama unfolded, and it got so much better. Um... Obviously, I don't like, like conflict, but, like, I love reality TV, and when it's that type of vibes, like, silly drama, and it's unfolding, I think it's hilarious. So, like, I don't know. They just kept asking us all this stuff and for examples of stuff, and they got on, like, the topic of, like, what makes, like, a good leader and this and that, and these two people were going back and forth on what they think is, like, a better leader and it was like a civilian and like a military person i mean they weren't like being rude but it was just kind of funny um and then what else oh yeah the craziest thing was they asked us i mean they just kind of asked the whole class the lady that was like teaching she was like um like what are some things that people have conflicts over and obviously you know we're talking like personalities and like um, like work ethic and just different stuff, different values that people have that cause conflict in the workplace. Well, these two girls that were like sitting on opposite ends of the classroom apparently work in the same place and they have drama. Like recently had a conflict and this one girl was like blasting the whole situation in front of everyone and the girl beside me was like, laughing kind of, not laughing but she was like getting annoyed because she's like i need to give my side and then our freaking instructor turned into like a mediator and they were blasting their whole situation and everyone and our little course was just like what and like i couldn't help myself y'all i was like laughing i was just like this is crazy like how you just blasting the whole situation in front of the class like Oh my God, it was just funny. But I got my daily dose of reality TV up close and in person. So yeah, now I'm gonna eat lunch. Not really sure what I'm gonna eat. Um, but yeah, look how cute my little badger is. How cute. My sister got me this for Christmas last year. But um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. I'm just like, so, I'm just so like caught up in the drama, y'all. Like, oh my god. It was low-key inappropriate for that to happen, but it's still kind of funny. But yeah. Y'all, I am so annoyed. Freaking just got out of my class. It's like 5 o'clock because people want to keep talking. Oh my god. Y'all, I'm so annoyed. 
But thank God the class is over, y'all. Let me just tell y'all though about it. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I'm about to crank my car. It's hot. Okay, so first of all, the class is kind of cool overall. Taught me some stuff. However, I get very annoyed when it's like coming close to time for stuff to be done and people just want to keep going on and on. Like, y'all already said, like they already said like six times, hey, if you're having a problem with this, just call us, you know? Go here, get our contact, call us, we'll tell you what to do. People just kept asking questions and just kept on, y'all. I had to literally, personally, just like excuse myself to go take a sneaky little bathroom break, a sneaky little break. And I came back and people, like two people in the class were having a conversation. And I was like, yeah, like two people were having a conversation and it was like stopping the whole presentation for the class. Um, not a big fan of that, but yeah, thank God it's over. I did learn some stuff and I will apply it when I need to. I personally would have rather been in the field. Like, I would have rather been at like an overnight range or something, um, pulling guard for something. Like, y'all, I used to be with the infantry. Not a lot of stuff bothers me. Like, I feel like I put up with a lot. I don't really complain about a lot, but. Today really got under my skin, like, bro. It's so gloomy, and gloomy days are my favorite days to like cuddle up and just like watch movies. I like really wish my husband was here because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to cuddle up and watch movies. Like, it's almost Halloween. I mean, it's not almost Halloween, but like, you know, spooky movies and just watch TV, order a pizza. I don't know. I didn't bring gym clothes. Kind of glad that I didn't because I got out so much later than I expected that I truly just want to go home and I just want to work out on my apartment gym. So I just feel like doing like a good cardio day, go drive home. Traffic is probably crazy already. Y'all, I am not going to the gym. I'm just not in the mood. I'm stressed and I just want to lay here and play my Switch. So I'm just having a lazy night. It's like so gross outside. I just want to do nothing. But I wanted to say thank y'all for watching my video. I really just even appreciate y'all being here. It means a lot to me. I don't think you guys really understand. It does. But I'll see y'all next time. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.